Okay, race 11, the penultimate of the National Hunt for day one, and it's a Desert Orchid Maiden Chase over two miles, six furlongs. Number one is Doghouse of David Robertson, Sharp Bullet for Obi-Wan, Wendy's Worms for Pontypool Racing, Westminster Abbey for Paul Rhodes, Aero Murta for Molly at Surfer, Argyle Gate for Jim Murray, Mine's a double Josephine for Kevin Meenahan, Swift Lady for Darren Howes, and the Dark Lord for Joshua Southern. Nine of them over the chase course here. And then I'll wait for the start up. He's bringing them in. And they start on the bend and they're away. Just in front of that. And they're straight into the first. And the one that didn't get over that particularly well was Westminster Abbey. But his jockey's still in the plate. I'm going to wait for him to settle down. It's Aero Murta and Doghouse. The one sticking his nose in between as they go. Oh, and a poor jump, actually. Just I was about to talk about Sharp Bullet there. Didn't get over that one. So a couple of sticky jumps early on here. There's no pace in the race. Nobody wants to take this up. Although Westminster Abbey is just sticking his nose alongside Aaron Water as they go over the third. And a couple of slower jumps at the rear. But it's Aaron Murta that's going to lead them on. Don't really want to be there. Everyone else has all taken a bit of a hold. Fairly tactical, I imagine, this race. As they approach the next, which is the fourth, the plain one, oh, and the leader went straight through that. Uh, the others have pulled alongside. There's only three lengths between them all at the moment. As they get to the fifth, a ditch. One's more or less over that, but some sticky old jumping. But up front, we've got Westminster Abbey on the inside. The outside of that is Aaron Water. In third at the moment, mine's a double Josephine, and they're followed through by the grey doghouse. Just on the outside of doghouse is the dark ward. And they've got another grey and the orange silks is Swift Lady for Darren House. Further wider is Pontypool Racing's Wendy's Worms. And they're just being followed through by Argyle. Got, oof, a couple of bad jumps there by Argyle Gate and Sharp Bullet. But up front, it's Aaron Water. That's leading now. A couple of lengths to the grey doghouse. And mine's a double Josephine and Westminster Abbey. They get to the next ditch, the seventh. Everybody's over that quite comfortably. It's taken them seven fences to settle, but they're all still on their feet. And it's Eremurta. Or should I say Eremurta. Leads us by a good couple of lengths. And there's a couple of poor jumps by the ones at the rear there, and they got themselves a little bit disconnected. And that swift lady of Darren Howes, the grey there, and sharp bullet in the yellow silks. And that's Obi Wan. Well, they've got plenty of time to catch back onto the rest of the pack. But up front, it's Aaron Muerta. Took a good, nice jump at that. It's got about a three length advantage. So we've got a mile and a half to travel through half the fences. They've got another nine past the big grandstand here. There's the big screen. There's the winning post, but it's Aero Murta that leads us from mine to double Josephine. Wendy's Worms in third, out wide. And then between those is Argyle Gate. And then Westminster Abbey against the fence. Wider than is the Dark Lord. Doghouse just slipping back a little bit. Sharp Bullet and Swift Lady, but they're all still there. We'll take this long sweep in left. And it's Aero Murta that still leads us by a couple of lengths to mine's a double Josephine. Could well be the best named horse of the season. There's still a fair few to call. A poor jump there by Sharp Bullet. Himself back into the pack and then demoted himself a little bit. But it's Aero Murta still leading. One hit surfer. And his worms in second. One that's made up some ground as a dark lord going around quite quietly. Josh Sutherland. It's Aero Murta still leading by a couple of lengths. And those advantages being cut back now by the dark lord. And still running sort of mid course, a little bit wider than he needs to. The greys at the back, Swift Lady and Dog House. Sarah Murta being put under challenge now by the Dark Lord, with only half a length in it. We've got mine's a double Josephine, our gold gate in the black and red silks. Starting to make a move. And we'll let Aaron Murta get too far away. Nice jump there by the Dark Lord. Sorry, Argyle Gate, which has jumped himself right into contention here. And he takes it up six furlongs out. They go over a small ditch, but it's Argyle Gate that leads. We've got four fences to jump now. So it's Argyle Gate and Aaron Muerta together. Followed through by the Dark Lord and 
Mine's a double Josephine, although sticking between those is Wendy's Worms. One a little bit caught for pace here is Westminster Abbey, Sharp Bullet, Dockhouse and Swift Lady have got a lot to do. But up front is Eremurda, Argyle Gate and Wendy's Worm. They get to the 15th, they're all over it, it's a plain one. A good jump there by Mines of Double Josephine, but it's Eremurtha off the bridle and being pushed along along with Argyle Gate. The one that's moved in well now is Westminster Abbey that's come from nowhere and is going to challenge as they go over the 16th. He takes it better. So it's now Westminster Abbey that takes it up with Eremurtha on the inside, Argyle Gate. Between horses, it's these three are pulling away, making a good bit of ground out wide is Doghouse, but they're not going to win from there. But it's Westminster Abbey inside the two furlongs over the penultimate, gets over it well, a couple of slow jumps a poor jump there by the dark law but up front is Aaron Werther and Westminster Abbey these two are neck and neck approaching the last Westminster Abbey's going to rise first I think from Aaron Werther on the inside Argyle Gals at three and four lengths behind but Westminster Abbey gets over it best takes the lead by just half a length but Aaron Werther coming back on the inside now Aaron Werther's got a row to help him and it's Aaron Werther that's just starting to pull ahead now he's going to take it by a length Aaron Werther takes it from Westminster Abbey in second Argyle Gal is third Good win there for Molly at Surfer. And we lost Sharp Bullet there. I didn't see him. Uh, he fell three back. Sorry about that. Obi, but it's Aaron Werther that takes it for Molly at Surfer. Second was Westminster Abbey for Paul Rhodes. Third, Argyle Gate for Jim Murray. Fourth was Mines of Double Josephine for Kevin Meenan. And fifth, Dark Lord for Joshua.